Welcome back, my friends. Today, we're going to talk about a new app in Canva called the SKU app. And it's exactly what it says. It will take an image and it will SKU it for you, just like in a mock-up if you want a image angled. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to use it. All right, so first things first, I'm going to create a new page and you're going to notice that I am using the free version of Canva. Okay, so the SKU app is free to use and you'll find it on, on your sidebar under the tab called apps. So just go to apps and in the search Canva apps, you can search for SKU and it will come up SKU image. So you can click on that. And this is the app right here. It's called SKU image. Now I'm going to select that and I'm just going to read the uh, terms and permissions and I'm going to click on open. And over here you have the option to uh, upload a file so that you can skew that image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to elements and because I've recently chosen uh, selected these ones I'm just going to place these ones on my workspace. Now when you're selecting images to skew try and select images that are the same size. So you'll notice that these ones are the same size so that when you skew them, they will skew in the same direction. Um, if you're choosing images that are different sizes, then uh, they will look slightly different from one another. So I'm just gonna go back now to my apps and I'm gonna go to skew image and you can see because I've got this first image selected, it already knows that that's the image that I wanna work with. Now, when you're doing this, just take a note of um, the horizontal skew and the vertical skew. For the purposes of this uh, demonstration, I am using uh, negative nine for my horizontal skew and five for my vertical skew. So just take a record when you are doing this. Now, when I click add de to design, it's gonna click, it's going to place a new image on my desktop. And so now I can, I'm just going to get rid of this other image. So that is my first image right there. I'm going to select my second image. And again, it's remembering what my horizontal screw is and my vertical screw is. So I'm just going to say add to design. And that will be my second uh, image and I'll get rid of that one and now I'll, I'll select my last image and again it's remembering it but um, just to show you you can actually toggle the horizontal skew and you can also toggle the vertical skew I'm going to go back to that five and that minus nine, just so that all of my images line up. And I'll just click add to design. Okay, I'll get rid of that last image there. And now I have my three images here. But when you're handling these, handle them by the corner, that way you're cropping them evenly. Okay, I'll do the same with this one. And I'll do the same with this one and I'm just trying to make them all the same size. So that is how we skew. Now, when we click on the image, let's see what else we can do. Um, we have the option to make it transparent. Uh, we can um, move them by clicking on position and layers. Uh, we can animate. We can put a border around the uh, image. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, well, it's a square border, so it's not actually the skewed border. Um, we can flip it. 
Um, so let's see what happens when we flip it. Okay, it flips or skews the other way. And what happens when we click on edit photo, we have a whole bunch of different features. Now, take note that I am using the um, free version, so BG Remover is not available to me, but Shadows is. So I can place a drop shadow on that, on this one, and on this one. So that is about it. And that is how we use the SKU app. And I'd love to hear your feedback to see what you think of the SKU app and how you plan to use it. For now, I'm. that's pretty much it for me. Uh, if you learned anything in this tutorial, please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe. Until next time, my friends, bye-bye. I'll see you.